Assalamu alaikum guys Welcome, welcome Welcome to the lesson number 14 of grade 3 mathematics and we are starting from book The Common World uh, Yesterday we, have, uh, we had a test and uh, many of the students uh, got good marks only some of them uh, having 5 or 4 marks so most of them were having 9, 10, 9, 10 so it was very good to see your result uh, uh, today we are going to start a new topic that is number jars and in the number jars we are going to learn about the order of number we are going to practice about ordering the numbers these are actually number jars where you can see the different numbers are inside and uh, we have to arrange these uh, uh, with the start with the smallest right so uh, first for that work you have to take out your notebook and we are going to start this work in our notebook so let's move to the word file where we write the date it's 16 september 2020 and today is wednesday and we are working from page number 44 so the topic name is number jars so i have taken this number from a number jar and the question is arrange the number in order from the smallest to largest we have to arrange this number from the smallest to largest and in the first number jar we are having the number 876 867 768 786 687 and 678 so we have to arrange uh, from smallest to largest so i need to find out the smallest number here if you see that uh, I need to check first the hundred places. If the on the hundred places I will find any smaller number, that means the whole number will be smaller. And if the numbers are same on the hundred places, then I will check the tens. And if they are also same, then I will check the ones. So the same technique I'll follow, which we uh, learnt in previous classes. So eight seventy six uh, is having eight hundred. Um, this is eight, also eight hundred. 700 that means this 768 is smaller than these two uh, numbers this is also 700 that means these two values are smaller than these two values and these are 600 values that means these are the smallest one among all because they are having least 100 600 okay? but i don't need to find two values i first i need to find the smallest one so because six and six they are same on the hundred so i will check now their tens this is 8 on the tens and this is 7 on the tens, right? 7 is less than 8. 7 is less than 8, that's why I will say 678 is the smallest among all. And then after, absolutely it's 687 because they are having uh, least 100 among all, 687. After uh, we done with the 600, we have 700 less among all, right? But 700, we have two values. Uh, with six tens and with eight tens. So tens, if you look at the tens, so six tens is less than eight. So I will write six, seven, six, eight first, then seven, eight, six, because six is less than eight. Then only 200, uh, two, 800 values are left. And in this 876 and 867. So on the tens, seven and six. So six is less than seven. That's why I will write 867 first and 876 first. Right? So, I will say the smallest one here is 678, then 687, then 768, then 786, 867, and 876 is the largest one among all. Same, uh, we have uh, B from the jar, six, second jar. It's 915, 519, 591, 159, 195, 951. Too much confusing because uh, mostly the numbers are same mostly 5 9 and 1 these numbers are used in the combination in, in order to make different combinations and that is just to make you confused but if you know the technique you will not uh, do any mistake just check the hundred values 9 5 that means is smaller 5 is smaller 1 is small less small less because 9 is bigger, 5 is smaller and 1 is the smallest, right? Uh, 1, again 1. So, I will check only with these two values. Because these are having the least 100 among all. 100 and 100. 
because hundreds are same, so I'll check the tens. It is having five tens. It is having nine tens. Nine tens. So five is less than nine. Five is less than nine. That's why one fifty nine is the smallest one, and one ninety five. After these two, five hundred values are the less values because they are having five hundred, and other two values are having nine hundred. Among these five hundred values, what value should I write first? I will check once one and nine. One is less than nine. That's why I write five hundred and nineteen, then five twenty five. After these four values, only two values left. Left nine one five and nine five one. Both are nine hundreds. So I will check the tens. It is one and it is five. So it is less than nine fifty one. Nine hundred fifteen is less than nine fifty one because. On the tens position, one is less than five. In the same way, we finish part C and D. Try to try to uh, make uh, order smallest to largest by yourself. Four thirty-two, four twenty-three, three thirty-four, two twenty-two, thirty-four, three forty-two, and two forty-three. So there are four hundreds, three hundreds, and two hundreds. Two hundred is the smallest one. So I'll check that there are two values with the two hundreds, one with thirty-four and one with forty-three. So three is less than four. That's why I write two thirty-four first and two forty-three. After two hundred, I have uh, the least value from three hundred. This is the value three forty-two. This is the value three forty-two. So there's only one value. That's why I write this. Then after we have two values from four hundred, four hundred thirty-two, and four twenty-three. So three is greater than two. Three is greater than two. That's why I write. Uh, four twenty three first because four twenty three is smaller and then four twenty two. D part I made myself, and uh, this is uh, just to make you confused. Five eight seven, five eight one, eight five three, eight five zero, five eight three, and three five eight. Check out the minimum hundred here, which is the least hundred here. Five five eight eight five three. Oh my God, this is a three. Three hundred is the least value here, so I like three hundred and fifty eight first. Then after three five hundred. Five eight hundred. I mean three values. Five eighty seven. Five eighty one. Five eighty three. So check the tens. And in all values, oh, tens are also same. Then check the ones. Seven, three, and zero. So zero is the less than. Five eighty seven. Five eighty one. And five eighty three. Eight at same seven. One and three, so one is the less. You will say, sir, one is less than seven also, and one is less than three also. So five eighty one is the less. Than. Then, after all this, five eighty three because three is less than seven. You have three values with five hundred, and then five eighty seven. After five hundred, you have only two values with eight hundred, eight fifty three, and eight fifty. So eight eight same, five five same. Hundreds and tens values are same. Just check the ones. Three is greater than zero, and zero is less than three. So you like eight fifty, and then eight fifty. In that way, you have to complete this, and we have completed in our notebook. Complete it in your notebook, and I will upload this in your uh, in your class era course materials. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching the tutorial. I'll meet you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.